Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. In the last episode, we explored a Gun Gaga, and in this episode, we are going to eventually find where the heck we're supposed to go. So I thought I would go back to where Cosmo Canyon is. Um, ooh, can we go in anywhere here? Um, because it is after Gun Gaga, so maybe that is exactly where we are supposed to go. Although we are in these uh, forests. Oh my god, frogs. I freaking hate these frogs. Die. Please, please die. You know what? No, this isn't worth it. Escape. Frogs, my mortal enemy. Come on, come on. I have to be able to escape. Okay. Note to self. Avoid grassy areas. <laughs> Those things are scary. Okay, now let's try to turn the camera around a little bit better. Um, yeah, Cosmo Canyon is after Gongaga, so I, I think I'll check this out. And maybe, uh, and maybe uh, this is where we're supposed to go. Maybe they do have something else for us in Cosmo Canyon now that we've seen Gongaga. Is still a weird name. I'm kind of surprised I couldn't figure out, find anything to do there, but oh wells. Now get out and let's enter. Don't, oh, am I stuck? Get, you know, get out of the way. Thank you. Okay, now I'm not stuck. Seriously, was there like anything here now? That is a very good question. Um,. Sir? Ooh, okay, yeah. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to be here anymore. So let's try again. Let's see. Ooh, there, maybe there's something over this way. Instead of a cliff. Um, gosh, where am I supposed to... Wait, this looks new. This looks very new. So I... You know what? Um... Maybe this is somewhere new. I do not want to fight these guys. I really do not want to fight these these ancient-looking penguin guys. They do not look like they'd be fun to fight. And while we're at it, you know, I really should heal. Now that we are healed, let's... Uh, okay, is there really nothing this way? Okay. Not what I was expecting. Um, well, they... You know, they don't say this was a blind LP for nothing. I'm guessing I'm supposed to go past... Cosmo Canyon to the north end. My freaking god, go away! Alrighty, one day there will not be random encounters anymore. And I, I think after the next story uh, progression, we will go back to, uh, what's it called? The thing to the north? Um, I can't think of the name of it. That's right, Golden Saucer. I think I will see what else there is to do there. See if uh, there's any important... Oh my god, a town! We did it! We found a civilization! My voice totally cracked there, but I don't care. Someplace new for us to go. This is so exciting. What? Oh wait, this is... This was all burnt down, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I thought so. Wait a minute, is this... The, this is! This is the, the flashback area, Nibelheim. Then why my house is still here, too? Cloud, maybe you were just dreaming. I'm not lying. It was burnt down. The flashback said so. I remember the intense heat of the flames. Oh my goodness, okay, this is, this is promising. Okay, but yeah, everything looks normal, but now that we're here, we can explore. Hello, doggy. Let's try this door first. I don't remember where anything of these goes. Um, can we check anything? Um, hello, let's see. It looks empty here. How about upstairs? Hopefully this is, uh... Uh, why are there trash bags hum humping the floor? The black cape. Dot, dot, dot. 
Received a luck source. Okay. Reunion. Reunion. Who the heck are these guys, though? That's a... Outside of trash bags, humping the floor. You know, I don't know. Uh, is this a treasure chest? No? Okay. So, maybe these are guys, like, scavenger creature things, or people, for all we know, that took over this town and rebuilt it? I don't know, because it's a little bit weird that they're hiding. Yeah, and it's another black cape dude. Must get it and bring to Sephiroth. Then become one with Sephiroth. This guy's number five. So somehow these guys are related to Sephiroth. Um, but they don't seem interested in fighting us, which is, you know, always a... Successful venture. He has a tattoo of the number 11. Oh, wait a minute. These are the guys who were... And here's a turbo, Ethan. Must go reun yun So we... So they're trying to get to a reunion. And I think these guys were from that reactor. And they've uh, basically infiltrated this town and kicked out all the people who lived here originally, including... Uh, Tifa and Cloud's families, it seems like. Um, um, okay, wait. Can we not check anything? Does not look like it. It really does not look like it. Although now we're hiding behind a bed. Anyways, let's go to talk to you. This music is very peaceful, by the way. Tattoo number four. Received a platinum fist. Where... Are you great Sephiroth? Righty, um, let's take a look at our item haul now that we've uh, gotten some people's some stuff. Righty, uh, magic. Wait, materia. Are they materias? Added effect. Well, since we got the room, we might as well. Doesn't look like, unless there's some hiding at the bottom that I missed. I'll, although, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. Anyways, let's uh, let's uh, what else? Uh, da -da -da -da. Equipment. That seems like platinum fist. Although this is weaker than the tiger fang, which we got from Cosmo Canyon, right? Yeah. Okay. Platinum fist. Wait. Accessories. Fire ring, protect vest. Okay, nothing of out of the ordinary. But we got butterfly edge. So then where did the rest of the item? Luck source. There's the luck source. Raises luck, which would be, I don't know, Kate Sits can have it. And there is nothing. Oh, well, the, the turbo ether. Which will be useful in case we use a lot of MP. So that's good. So that's good. So we talked to you. You're number four. Um, let's go around the table slowly. And let's go downstairs. Anyways, let's take a look at the next uh, area. Wait a minute. Were you in here before? Yes, you were. Okay, yeah. You want to you wanna become one with Sephiroth? Um, take that as you will. Humble viewer, um, I'm not exactly sure how to take that. Not sure I want to know. Oh, hey, it's a normal person. What is it? Tell me what happened. I lived in this house until I was 14. No, but this town was bur burnt down. You're sick saying such things. Get out of here. So, he, I don't know, he seems like he's a little bit scarred from whatever happened here. Or maybe we're just crazy. Who knows? But, yeah, this was Cloud's house. Um, still standing. How about in here? With this dude who sells General's crap, which uh, we could use. Not that much. Say five high potions. 
Yeah, we're good with everything else. Actually, wait a minute. Right, so I sold a few of our weapons. Um, you've been in business here for a while? You're lying. Do you, do you have anything to do with this town? How about been born and raised here, obviously? I was here until I was 14, I, and I don't remember you. It's not nice to lie. Uh, so yeah, these people, they seem like they're sincere and that they've been here for, you know, forever. Unless, you know, they're trying to hide something from the trash bags here. He has a tattoo of the numbers 12. Hmm, he has something. Can we get an elixir? Can you hear the voice of Seth? Sephiroth. Well, um, you know, we don't really know a whole lot about Sephiroth. Um, actually, it's kind of funny because <laughs> I'm recording this video like a week after they uh, announced Sephiroth for Smash Bros. And yeah, but he's been pretty mysterious in this game. He hasn't appeared in a whole lot of scenes outside of Cloud's flashbacks. Here's a hotel. Maybe Sephiroth is staying here? You never know. Oh, this guy is. He has a uh, he has a tattoo number six. Hmm, he has something. We get a luck source, another one. <laughs> Must go to reunion. Well, he needs to go to a reunion. Not sure uh, where the reunion is. It seems like that's something of importance, though. We may want to crash the reunion. What's your story? This town was supposed to have burnt down five years ago. What the hell is going on? Sir, don't say such awful things. I was born and raised in this town. What you say never happened. You're lying. Excuse me. That's so rude. If you're going to talk like that, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. So, the way he says that means that, like, there's someone trying to shut him down. I mean, the way he said um, that, you know, no such thing happened, it kind of seemed like from the text that he knows something happened, but he's basically saying, yeah, don't say that that happened. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's the way I took it. Anyways, let's take a room here. Uh, maybe something will happen from taking a nap. I mean... This is a lot to take in for the party, too, so I kind of figure, you know, they may want to sleep in. Think about this. Of course, for us, it takes five seconds rather than a whole night. So, anyways, let's check the upstairs here. And they do give lots of stuff. No trash bags. No trash bags. Wait, is this a thing? No, it's just, it's just a seat. Anyways, we did get a luck source, so we might as well... Wait, I should check their luck stat, should I? Cloud is uh, 24. Great Sith is at 24. And Tifa! Yeah, well, she's at 22. Um, well, I'll give it to Cloud this time. You know, I, I do kind of... I do tend to prefer giving them to the higher... The characters with the higher level. Of course, we do have, you know, three other characters and... Um... You know, I don't know what their luck stat is at the top of my head. Hey, Pooch. Got anything for me? No? Okay, great. Although it sounds like he's kind of howling in the background. Anyways, let's set up here. Yeah, the mansion is still standing. And so are these trash bags. Wow. He's calling. Sephiroth is calling. Yeah, Sephiroth must be here around here somewhere. Maybe that's what the reunion is for, to meet up with Sephiroth. The great Sephiroth is near. Inside. Inside. The mansion. Erg! The great Sephiroth. Oh boy, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. I mean, we, you know... We haven't really fought Sephiroth yet, and he is all-powerful. I must get rid of all the... 
I must get rid of all those that stand in the way of my research, even that one from the Turks. I scientifically altered him and put him to sleep in the basement. If you want to find him, search the area. But this is merely a game I thought of. It is not necessary for you to participate if you don't want to. There seems to be another letter. Shall we read it? We shall. Move the dial on the safe carefully, but quickly. You have 20 seconds. You cannot go past the numbers while turning. The four hints for the numbers are dial one, dial two, dial three. Let's try dial one. The lid of the box with the most oxygen. So we need to check a look at the box with the most oxygen. And wait, there's two more hints. Should, should we? I didn't mean to go in here. No, 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 no. We got two more hints to take a look at. Move the dial on the safe quickly, carefully but quickly. You have 20 seconds. You cannot. The four hints for the numbers are. Dial two. Behind the ivory short of T and Ray. Okay, and what's dial number three? The creek in the floor near the chair on the second floor. Then to the left, five steps, up nine steps, left two steps, and up uh, six steps. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm very confused. I, I don't know. It sounds like this is an optional area, though, with the way it, you know, introduced it to us. A little of the box with the most oxygen. Okay, we'll start with that one. And um, how much time am I at? I'm trying to keep these net this video uh, to 20 minutes or so. Well, we're we're about 18:13 with not much to cut out. So I think I will call it an episode here. And next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Blind, we will explore this mansion that is apparently optional and not very important, even though the Great Sephiroth is hiding in here or something like that. Who knows? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. My name has been Xenobolt. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and like for more Final Fantasy VII Blind.